the election court has struck out the election petition by party KDM president Datuk Peter Anthony to nullify the results of the Tenom parliamentary seat in GE15. Election judge Justice Dean Wayne Daly on Wednesday allowed the notice of application by the first respondent, victorious independent candidate Ridwan Rubin Balang, as well as preliminary objections raised by returning officer for Tenom Mas Shazwan Masood, Election Commission EC Chairman Tan Sri Gani Saleh and the EC to strike out the petition. Justice Daly awarded 20,000 ringgit in costs to Red One and 20,000 ringgit to the second, third and fourth respondents. The decision allows Red One to keep the seat he won with a 1,108 vote majority in the five-cornered contest. In delivering his judgment, the judge found that Peter failed to provide sufficient facts and particulars to support his allegations that there was a breach of election law when his nomination papers were rejected. He also ruled that Peter was convicted of a crime under Article 48.1e at the time of the nomination and was therefore disqualified under Article 48.5 of the Federal Constitution from contesting in G15. Peter's counsel, Dato Ansari Abdullah, had earlier argued that his client had obtained a stay of conviction from the Sessions Court and as such, Article 48.5 would not apply to him. However, Tengku Dato Fuad Ahmad, who acted for Ridwan, argued that Article 48.5 applies immediately upon conviction and that a person remains disqualified until and unless the conviction is overturned on appeal. Ansari said they will be appealing against the decision of the election court. Peter had obtained a stay order from the Kuala Lumpur Sessions Court on his conviction in a corruption case on August 1st so he could contest in GE15 on November 19th. In May, the court had sentenced him to three years jail and a 50,000 ringgit fine for a corruption offence. On Wednesday, the Kuala Lumpur High Court set April 18 for its decision in Peter's appeal against the conviction.